Gregory Adams is 11, his sister Aries is 8, and so some people freak out when they see this. What on earth are their parents thinking, they ask? Letting kids wander alone, crossing streets by themselves, deep in the dense and dangerous jungle we know and fear as Brooklyn. We really wanted our kids to be independent. Alina Adams says it's a good thing to let her children learn early to take responsibility for themselves. The only way that you can make a person independent is if you allow them the opportunity to make their own choices and most importantly to make their own mistakes. Because how is anyone ever going to develop good judgment if no one has ever given them the opportunity to make a decision? For instance. I was playing on the scaffolding once. I did forward roll and I fell on my face and now I know next time not to play, play on the scaffolding because I'll fall on my face. Do you think you learn more from making mistakes than you do from getting everything right? Yes. You do? Yeah. yeah. Alina sees herself as the antidote to the overprotective helicopter parent. She's a free-range parent. I was a free-range parent before I knew I was a free-range parent. Some yeah. might condemn Alina as the world's worst okay, mom, but that would be unfair. This is the world's worst mom. Lenore Skenazy, writer, TV host, and mom of two boys. World's worst, yep. <laughs> she also invented and owns the trademark for the term Free Range Kids, about which she's doing a radio interview at the moment. Free Range Kids is the movement I started, and you'll recognize them because they're just plain old kids raised the old-fashioned way. This all started when Lenore let her son Izzy ride the subway all by himself. I wasn't scared, but I was excited kind of like a jittery excited that I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Okay, wait, you're thinking this isn't such a big deal. But here's what Izzy looked like when he first took that subway ride by himself. He was nine. It was all his idea. His mom just set it up. She left him at Bloomingdale's with a subway map, a fare card, and 20 bucks. He rode from midtown Manhattan to Queens on the subway and then transferred to a bus home. And a few days later, his mom wrote a column about it. The reaction was that I got labeled America's worst mom. If you Google America's worst mom, I'm there for 77 Google pages. I mean, I just looked it up the other day. It's like 3 million hits. The idea of abduction is a very okay. rare event. It's, so I was on all these shows instantly and being grilled, you know, why would you do this and don't you care and how would you have felt if he died? Like horrible questions. You could have gotten the same experience in a safer manner. Right, well, let me ask you about wait, 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 that. But what is a safe, the same experience is going on the subway and, and, and that is safe. It's safe to go on the subway. It's safe to be a kid. It's actually safe to ride your bike on the streets. We're like brainwashed because of all the stories we hear that it isn't safe, you, you, but, but those are the exceptions. That's why they make it to the news. This is like boy boils egg. The emails started coming in, but the people who thought Lenora was the world's worst mom were outnumbered by those who thought she'd hit the nail on the head in a world scared witless by day-to-day -day living. Statistics show crime is lower now than when today's parents were kids, and cities especially are safer. So I started my blog, the Free Range Kids blog, that very weekend. Uh, to say my side of the story, which is that I love my children. Um, I love safety. I love helmets, car seats, seat belts, mouth guards. Uh, invite me to a baby shower, and the gift I inevitably bring is a fire extinguisher, right? So I'm not anti-safety. Um, I just don't believe that our kids need a security detail when they leave the house. And that's where I realized I was slightly out of step, slightly out of step with the rest of my country and yours. Maybe not so out of step. Skenazy has parlayed her parenting philosophy into a reality TV show. And her idea of free range parenting is taking root in other countries. The Land is a documentary about a playground in Northern Wales that looks like this. Kids are encouraged to make their own fun in what really is a junkyard. And they do, even literally playing with fire. It's been going for about a year and no one's been hurt. Moving. But there's angst out there and it can get ugly. That's just perfect. Devora Matev is six. Her parents give her and her older brother a lot of freedom. They sometimes walk from a park that's about a kilometer and a half away to their home in Silver Spring, Maryland. Once, a neighbor who saw them walking alone called police. Okay, how old do they look? Maybe seven. Little boy, maybe about seven, eight. Little girl, maybe about six. Okay, and you don't see any parents around them? No, ma'am. 
For the Maytiv family, that was the start of months of trouble with the police and with Maryland's Child Protective Services, CPS. The people who came the first time, they, they uh, spoke very plainly. They said, what you're doing is, is against our policy. CPS said that? Yeah. And what did you say? Well, we looked into the, the law and, and we did not see a, a connection. So we, we said we were going to test your policy. Right. Or we're not, I mean, uh, not so much test, but we don't see a reason to change our parenting style based on some arbitrary decision from CPS. A few months later, when police saw the kids walking home alone together again, they picked them up. But they didn't take them home. They didn't take them to the police station. They just held them. This is, in fact, where the kids sat for two and a half hours in the back of a police car. A police car. Um, right. Nobody called us. Nobody walked the two and a half blocks to tell us where the kids were. Eventually, police took the kids to Child Protective Services, where they were held until about 10 o'clock that night. The Maytivs didn't get their kids back until they signed a statement saying the children would not be left alone when off their own property. All of that has since been dropped and the Maytivs are suing CPS. Lenore Skenazy's view is that if people want something to worry about, they should worry about how much more intrusive government and policing agencies are becoming in the lives of parents. Skenazy says she likes to pose this question to parents. Think of something you did as a kid that you loved doing, that you don't let your own kids do, and then think about why that is. Keith Bogue, CBC News, New York.